My name's Deb Bolt and I've lived in Canberra for just over 15 years. I came to Canberra because I didn't know anybody here. Now I know everybody, which is good. My childhood was fairly upside down because I come from a broken home. My mother threw my father out and I went to live with my grandparents for a while. And sometimes I was with my grandparents and other times I wasn't. I was with my mother or so-called mother. In one year, I reckon I went to 42 schools. Um, so I couldn't make friends. And I just don't have very good memories from my childhood. Well, when I first got here, it was pretty hard because I didn't actually have anywhere to live at the time. I was actually homeless. I slept under bridges, public toilets, anywhere I could find somewhere to just lay down for the night. Well, when you're outside at night, like for me, because I'm a woman, it's pretty terrifying because you never know what's going to happen. Like, as I said, there's a lot of drugs and alcohol out there these days. And you never know when you're going to get stabbed or shot or whatever. And it's really, really scary. But you survive as best you can. There's been a lot of times during my life where I have been homeless on and off. And maybe a month, two months, sometimes longer. And life back then was pretty hard. I've been dumpster diving to eat, gotten food out of rubbish bins because it was the only way I had. Picked up cigarette bumpers in the street because I didn't have the money to buy them. Actually having my own home, <clears throat> and especially the one I've got, it's just a dream come true for me. Just over 10 years ago now, I saw somebody selling the big issue in Civic, and I walked up to that person and I said, how do you get involved with this? And they showed me. <clears throat> and I've been happily servicing with the big issue ever since. Being on a disability pension, like I'm not on the poverty line. I'm nowhere near the poverty line. I am well below the poverty line. And for me, for housing to put my rent up $5 at a time, it's devastating because my payment from Centrelink has not gone up at all. The one thing for me that kept me going was the serenity prayer. God grant me the serenity to, to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and wisdom to know the difference. And that was what kept me going.